My name's Chris. I was, uh, I was brought up in a Christian family. Um, I was christened as a baby and I was confirmed when I was about, about 10 or so. Um, but growing up, I, I was never really, never really walked with God uh, through my teenage years and through university. Uh, very much lukewarm, sort of on and off, um, going to church here and there. Um, I, got, I got married just before I went to university. Um, and then when I moved to Bristol two years ago, uh, my wife left me. Um, and that was a, a really hard time for me. I sort of hit rock bottom. Um, so I was recommended Woodlands Church by a friend who were down next to at university. Um, so we, when we moved up to Bristol, we came to Woody straight away. Uh, well, last, for the last year, I've been going along to Square One Pasture, and that's just been absolutely incredible. Um, just having a, a group of close Christian friends. Because uh, before that, all of my, my friends were, were non-Christians. Um, I had some quite good friendships, but it was, it was difficult living out a Christian lifestyle. Uh, but actually now I've got a really close group of friends that are all Christians that I can do life with. Um, and it's just amazing having a group of friends that just so passionate about Jesus. Through the through the hard time a couple of years ago, um, there's one thing that God really taught me above above anything else, and that was just to rejoice uh, in my sorrows. Um, and there's a particular passage in One Peter that just really was significant for me, um, just uh, rejoicing through hard times and trials. I want to get baptized today because I want to just tell everybody that I'm in love with Jesus and I want to live for Him every day of my life. Uh, my name's April. Um, when I was 12, um, my friend invited me to a Christian festival co called New Wine. Um, I didn't have a particular Christian upbringing, so it was a new experience for me. Um, I learned about Jesus, um, I met with God there. Um, so I started on a process of going to church. Um, however, it was more of a social thing. I didn't really have a relationship with Jesus. Yeah, so I was living with my boyfriend in Manchester. Um, I had everything, I had a job, car, flat, everything that the world kind of taught me that life was about. Um, but there was this emptiness and this longing for something more uh, inside of me and I just I had to break out of it. So um, I just left. So I came to Bristol in January. Um, I was in a really low point because um, I had no friends, I didn't know anything about Bristol, I'd never even been to Bristol before. Um, and so I thought, I need to get into church because I know there's some nice people there. Um, and I went to do the ALF course in January this year. And in March, at the end, I gave my life to Jesus. And uh, yeah, what can I say? He's just done the most ridiculously amazing things in my life ever since. And it's just been an absolute roller coaster. There are nights when I go to sleep and I can't wait to wake up the next day to see what he's going to do. I want to get baptised today as an act of obedience um, and also as a demonstration to my friends and family, especially to those who don't know Jesus yet, um, how serious I am about my faith. And uh, yeah, that's it really. <laughs> my name's Anna. Uh, I didn't grow up a Christian, um, but it was something that I was always interested in. I used to talk to my friends a lot about it. Um, when I went to uni in Cardiff, I lived with a Christian in halls in my first year, and she ended up becoming one of my best friends. Um, she went to Woodlands, um, and I went along to church with her a couple of times in Cardiff, but found it a bit scary. Uh, I ended up moving to Bristol and I lived in a community house for a few, couple of years um, and I kind of ended up going to church, going along with people and I liked it, I was quite into it but I guess I wasn't quite ready for my life to change and I was quite scared that my personality was going to change and I knew that it was a big deal and that the whole foundations of my life would have to change if um, I decided to give my life to God. Um, and I guess I just wasn't quite ready to lose my comfort zone that I'd built up around me. Um, and I ended up going away from church for a couple of years. Um, I was in a relationship with someone who wasn't a Christian for quite a long time. And 
But when we broke up, I started going back to church again. And I guess that time around, it felt a lot more like it was my choice to go. And I wasn't so worried about what other people thought. And um, I guess I started to realize how faithful God was that even though I'd rejected him so many times and run away from what I knew he wanted for my life, he not just was willing to have me back, but was looking for opportunities to get me back. And I kind of want to say publicly that I want to commit my life to God and that even though this would have sounded terrifying to me five years ago, that I want God to be the centre of my life and I, I want to do whatever he wants me to do and, and follow him even if it's hard or even if the feelings aren't there. I guess it's that kind of unconditional love that I know that he has for us. I, I want to, to have that for him.